Hello and welcome back to the Dynamite Bates Match Head-to-Head -head Series. And for episode two, we've come up to the Midlands and to Larford Lake, a venue steeped in match fishing history, regularly hosting big money finals. And today we've got two anglers at the very top of their game. It's May Potter and Sarah Taylor. So we're here today at Lafford Lakes. Um, I've been here a few times uh, over the years, but I haven't been recently, but I have been keeping an eye on the match results and they are phenomenal. Some big weights coming out of skimmers, just brilliant, awesome weight and some cracking fishing. So I can't wait to get started and get my hands snarled up in all these skimmers. So we are here at Lafford today. I have been here a few times. Um, I've not actually fished a match, I've just pleasure fished it, um, but um, I, yeah, I've been here a few times. I've been keeping an eye on the match results and they look mega to be honest with you. So I'm proper looking forward to today. So today I'm fishing for skimmers and I'm gonna go with a nice pole approach, keep everything nice and simple. Um, so I've gone with a predominant ground bait mix. So I've gone with half a bag of each, kept it nice and simple. F1 uh, cool water. I've gone for swim swim silverfish and dark as well and then topped it off with some Silverfish Skimmer X as well. Just a nice mix, keep everything nice and dark with a few particles in there, but nothing too crazy for the winter time. Tactic wise today, I'm gonna initially fish for some skimmers, um, but I've also set up a rod line to have a chuck short because um, I think there'll be a few carp and some better skimmers there as well. So a bit of everything really. Mix wise, I've gone for F1 Cool Water Dark and some milled black amino. So, Going up against May today, we all know how brilliant she is. She's an absolute top class angler, full of, full of talent. Um, pushed me very close in the past before as well, so I'm a great head to head. So yeah, it's not going to be easy for me at all. So going against Sarah today, it's going to be a tough, tough match, but there's only going to be one winner and it's going to be me. Going off of the weights that have come off it in the last couple of weeks, hopefully this match will be absolutely brilliant. Big weight of skimmers coming out, some absolute bin lids, and I can't wait for it, it'll be brilliant. So Sarah, I hope you've brought some paracetamol today because you're going to get some neck ache watching me bag up. Come on mate, let's have it! So let's have a look at the rules for today's match. It's going to be a five hour match. Winner will be decided by overall biggest weight. So ladies, best of luck. I want a nice clean match and may the best, best woman win. Good luck mate, good luck! Oh, hey up. Probably why. 
Go on. No. <laughs> yeah! I've got a fish! I might have to. I'm having a duck fight now as well. I might. Yes! Okay, so that's not my slope, that's genuinely fish taking my bait. They're straight on the bait? Yeah. I'll just skim of that as well. Could have left that. I've got on my pole line after feeding about five cups of just loose ground bait. With just a few uh, dead maggots mixed in, and I've had a bite already. The flip keeps going under, there's fish taking me bait. So I'm happy, yeah. So the skin bobs might move in soon, but yeah, I'm getting bites and they've, they've instantly responded to that bait going in, so it's always a good sign. Another one now. Just a little roach. That's all. But lovely little things. Very slippery as well. But we're getting there. So, uh, all in, I uh, did. I fed my pole line and I chucked my feeder out just to, to give them fish a chance to get on that line. So now, uh, I've had two quick chucks on it, I've not had out, but uh, Sarah's uh, snaffled a few on a pole, so I've uh, first drop in now on the pole line and see if I, I catch. It looks like the fish have come to that bait, which is nice. Oh, struck too hard. Oh, jeez. Hell of a rocket. Oh, a little skimmer. Is it? No, it's hybrid. No. It's literally instant. Oh, mega that. Oh, definitely hungry. You wouldn't think so with it being so cold, but they properly have come to it. Oh, the proper nailing it as yeah. well. Yeah. They're hungry. Go on. That way. A bit of a skimmery tinge to it. Oh, where is she going? Oh, plastic's out! Oh, here yes. we go! They're here! I might net this one. Oh, yeah. It's not a oh. swing of this. Oh. Changing game now. Oh. Oh. oh oh yes nice little skimmer Sarah good lass brilliant coming into that fit you did it come on yeah oh way up that ain't roach hey up Come on, fishy, fishy. You got yourself a cap? I think so. Look at that, it's a big skimmer. I think my chances of landing this have gone from 100% to about 3. Oh, there's some proper units in here. <laughs> Put saddles on some of them. I 
Way up. Oh, oh, oh. I've got a plodder. Put a run of roach on my pole line. And now I've got this carrot on. I popped into it thinking it was a skim run. Good. Hey, it's in! Yes! Oh, he's a right chunk! It's what we've come for! Seen it yet? No, I haven't. I think it's a bream in a carp suit. In a carp suit? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a bit late for Halloween, to be honest. I think that'll really early for next year. See, my rig's on the end of that, and my rig's eight foot long. That's where the trick is. Oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Big Ed? Uh, yeah, he's, um, uh, yeah. Uh, he's ginormous. <laughs> Go on. Oh my god, he's huge! <laughs> he's massive! <laughs> he's absolutely ginormous! Oh shit! Oh, not the mic! I nearly went in then. Uh, right. <laughs> you can see. Uh, yeah, he's a bit of a creature. <laughs> well, that proves. That's on an 010 or 18 or and what 47 elastic it just proves that you don't need to scale up to catch big fish you just a bit of patience take your time don't rush them and you can land absolute creatures like this in the middle of winter brilliant right <laughs> it slowed down so i might yeah i'll uh when i say slow down i've just not had a bite instantly so uh i'm gonna oh oh i've moaned one on moaned one on Just happened. Oh, 10 off length that, mate. 47 elastic. <sighs> I know. Got banked on that. Oh, I've got to catch May up now. She's an empty on skin bobs. Got some skin bobs. I want my bib and brace to be able to stand up by itself with the skimmer slime. <laughs> the way you're going, you'll have that in a minute. Empty it. Oh, yes. Oh, it's not even getting to settle. <laughs> My arms are already. Oh, come on. Ah! Another one. I thought you were going to be a skimmer. Quick with my net. Ah, it's, a little, it's a little roach. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yes. Go on, mate. Do you want to hear something really disgusting? Oh, go on. I've got an O12 up length and a size 16 up on. Oh, That's outrageous, day. isn't it? Just, just for this time of year, yeah? I know. I mean, it lets me float. <laughs> I'm trying to multitask. Another one! 
Oh. What do you reckon they weigh? What? What do you reckon they weigh? How long? Yay! Get in! Ray! Got one! Did you get in? No, came off. I think it's far luck skimmer. But they're solid if you're far looking skimmers. Not as solid as yours. Oh, it's a big head. It's like a workout with this GoPro on there. You don't mind these kind of workouts though. Well, no, no, I could, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather do this. I'd rather do this than go to the gym. I went to the gym twice, once. I went first time to sign up, <laughs> and second time to take some ID in. <laughs> My favourite machine at the gym is the vending. The vending machine, yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah. one. We've been fishing just over an hour now, and we're catching some better stamp of skimmers. So uh, it looks like they're definitely coming to that bait that we're putting in. So Are we? it's going to be a good day. Are we? I'm trying to see how how much I can get away with not feeding. That's what I'm doing now. This is ridiculous. It's not just like the odd big skimmer, it's like everyone's a big skimmer. You fish a pasture feeder on it? A uh, bit of both. It's not. Doing a bit of j jiggling about all round it. Yes. I'm into another brown thing. You got another what? Bigger? Brown thing, I think. Do that, it's a humongous skimmer. If this was an hour and a half closer to my house, I'd be here every day. Oh, yeah. Beggar, innit? This is unreal. Come on, Skibbert. Yep. Yeah, only a babby one. No, it's an F1. Is it? Yeah. Big gun? Not really. A couple of pounds, I think. Oh, yeah, that wind's gone down slowly now. Look at this. Georgie. Woohoo! Woo! First jumper in it. First flying one. Yeah, it's not been too bad today. Probably because of that depth, to be fair. Hell yeah. Come here, you bin lid. Ugh. Woo! He's a nice one. Size of him. Ugh. Cure, blimey. Look at him. Big gun. It's a lovely oh, one. It's a proper one. Proper in, isn't it? I think that's like at the point where you go, is that a skimmer still or is that a bream? Like at what point does that change? Initially I fed 
top ups with little balls of ground bait but I've decided to just ping some maggots over at top basically just ringing the dinner bell telling them here come over here and it seems to be getting me a bit quicker bites but then again the bite, bites were pretty quick anyway so I don't know I just felt like I, I felt like I needed to make a bit more noise just to let them let them bigger skimmers know that oi get over here there's some grub here so and it seems to be working getting a snaffle in a few so yeah good day look at the size of them I bet for a carp angler this is like your nightmare isn't it I bet you like get like eight pounders on like go like that when you yeah I booked that on the drop. I've held my rig up to straighten it out and I've booked the skimmer. What, flicking your rig out? I didn't flick it out, I was just holding it up just to re-straighten it. And I've booked one. No. Hey up, hey up. Oh, oh. It's your turn. Oh my god. What? <laughs> no. What is it? It's a pike. But shut up. I'm not joking. Have you got it? No. I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. Shut up. I am not kidding. What the hell <laughs> is happening today? I've got a pike. <laughs> I think I've had. Every species going today. I want to have a grayling in a minute or something. Come here. Oh my god. What is happening? Hey, he's a good pike, you know. Yes. Now what the hell do we do with him? I thought my peg had gone funny. Oh, didn't want that one anyway. Oh, it's giving me my laggy right stretch. Halfway through now, um, the bites have definitely slowed down. It has been mega to be fair though. When I say slow down, we're not getting a bite in 30 seconds. Oh, I moaned one on. Um, but it has got a bit colder. But we might we might have just caught everything that's in our peg. We'll just have to wait for the next lot to come in. But it's a good day all round really. Uh, okay, so halfway in now the match and to say it's been solid it's been an understatement it has been brilliant for both myself and may just absolute skimmer city uh, it's been amazing fishing i absolutely love it um we've both noticed that they just want to eat just eat and eat and eat and the fact that you know we're both thinking about maybe mixing up some more ground weight as well so they have fed um it's slowed down a little bit for me now i've refed again and i've not had a bite and normally the pattern has been today that you feed and you get a bite straight away and you get a, a bit of a lot of fish so but with my current track record of what i've been catching out there i'm a little bit nervous that i might suddenly end up hooking a carp or who knows a pike in the way that i've been going um but yeah it's just kind of a little bit weird so it's either they've mopped it all up there's that many fish in there they've mopped it all up yeah or They've just gone a bit iffy. I'm not entirely sure. Has my float just gone under? Yes, it has. Um, so the wind's that one on. But yeah, it's just gone a bit weird. It'll just slow down a little bit. But it was absolutely chaotic, to be fair. So maybe it's just gone slightly more normal. I'm not sure. But yeah, I, I think the main, the main takeaway today is they just want to eat. They just want to 
eaten, and eaten, and eaten, and it's just been, it's been crazy. But I reckon I've probably got, well, 50, 60 pounds. I don't know. I could be selling myself short. I could be quite, I could be wrong. I don't know. But I think May's probably, probably just ahead of me, I'd say. Um, but I don't know. It's hard to tell with skimmers because you think you've got one thing and then they're just like, way. <laughs> so it's hard to guess. But yeah, we've, all I know is we've both had absolutely cracking days fishing anyway. I'm waiting longer for a bite, but they seem to be them decent ones again. They're not them like teeny tiny ones. Well, to be honest with you, it's still not bad. It's just because we're having to wait a minute for a bite now. Yeah, our standards have ra risen, haven't they? What? Oh. Skin bar. Come on. Come on, there we go. I think so, yeah. I'm not going to get this in. I've got an out ten up length from. Oh, it's going. Oh, it's come off. Oh. Oh. No one likes to see that. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, yes. Go on, fishy. Oh, what a snag there. I can feel it. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Here, it's coming in your pregnant for me. <laughs> okay, sound. Wake up screaming the words, is it on? Is it on? Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> Right, we're 
nearly at end of match now. I've hooked a cap, I've been playing it for a while. I'm being quite careful trying to get this one in because I'm trying to make this one count. Because I reckon it's going to be close. So hopefully I get to I get this one in and fingers crossed it's coming back now. Got me up. The stamps got big again. Yeah, I've noticed. Oh my god. I've just seen it for the first time. Well, we've come to the end of the match here at Larford Lakes today and it's been a thoroughly enjoyable day for myself watching and for the anglers either side of me. Plenty of fish on the bank, a few bonus carp thrown in with a bag full of skimmers for each. And uh, in the end, it did come down to a, a one or two carp uh, with a 69.8 and a 58.1 posted. That's two incredible bags. And well done, Sarah. Well done, May. But Sarah, you are the winner today. <laughs> Thank you. Well done, Sarah. Well done, May. Brilliant match again. Um, just, just covering bream slime, and it's just the best thing ever. What a day's fishing. I think we're both winners, really. Speak for yourself on the bream slime. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think we're both winners in this, really. Just an awesome day's fishing, and yeah, it's been brilliant.